Bonnie's Bakery follows the story of a seemingly innocent baker who loves to bake pastries for her customers and of course she is loved by the whole community. What's odd is that she is the only human in the town while others are talking animals. After a long day of work, she closes up shop and reveals her true self a delusional psychopathic serial killer who kidnaps people and uses their body parts as a source for ingredients for her pastries, kinda like Sweeney Todd. Of course, we switch perspectives to another protagonist who is captured by Bonnie as he tries to escape the bakery and reveals a multitude of different endings. So basically, Bonnie herself was kidnapped as a child by a cult brainwashing children into thinking that any person who is not compliant with their teachings turns into a beast and this basically is shown by the book that Bonnie reads in the DMC regarding the ethereal lady. The brainwashing has led her to a point where she does not see humans as individuals but as animals instead so that she does not have to feel guilty when she murders them and also because she was a child when all these teachings were drilled into her head. In the new game called Pyeong Pyeong Bakery Endless Love Something, we play as one of the rivals of Bonnie's bakery and we get to see the prequel as to what is going on before all those dead animals which turned out to be actual humans dead before Bonnie captured them from ingredients and these include the bunny, the dog, the cat and the panda bear whose names are actually anagrams for the animals they represent. One particular aspect of the story is that we get to see these individual separate stories as you put their names at the beginning of the game and one that is mildly interesting is that of A. Pardon, the detective who is investigating the missing people in the town. We get to see the portraits of these missing people and get to know that they all shared similar features to one another in appearance. Now this is just a theory but I think that these missing people are not related to Bonnie except for this one girl who is someone related as we get to know in the first game that Bonnie once tried to help a baby bunny with multiple wounds but failed to do so and instead used her as an ingredient for her baking. This is the same bunny as this girl who is the sister of Abby and now the reason why these people are missing is because they share similarities to Bonnie herself with white hair and blue eyes and since we know Bonnie was part of a cult we can safely assume that she must have escaped them somehow as shown by the story of the imperial lady where a child goes missing from the town and escapes to the forest and the lady goes after him to find him. Bonnie must have escaped sometime during childhood and the cult members were probably looking for her being parallel to the story of the imperial lady. This is also the reason why they are kidnapping all these women shown in the new demo as they are trying to get Bonnie back into the cult but once they realize that it's not her, they brutally kill them. I know this is a short video, but since the full game has not been released yet, so I can't know for sure what's actually happening, but we'll see how it goes. Till then, I'm your host, Rex0998, and I hope you guys like and subscribe for more theories and story related stuff, and I will see you in the next one.